Hey guys, what's up? It's High School Mac, and today I have a custom ROM review for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. Today's ROM is MIUI. I'm actually very excited about this ROM because I have ran MIUI on the past on my Thunderbolt, and now that I have the Galaxy S3, I'm really excited to be running it right now. So just to give you a little bit of background, um, I know MIUI has been on the S3 before on different variants. The Verizon one has had some luck in the past, but there has never really been a fully, really stable version of MIUI. Well, up until now, really. Uh, this version is being maintained by Blilas and Strummer John, and I have to say great job to these guys. Uh, this ROM, I've been running it so far now, and it's just been running rock solid. And it's really great to have everything working, basically. Um, on their form, it has everything working listed and really nothing broken. So it's basically a great daily driver. Uh, I've been using it and just like the form, I haven't found any bugs at all. And I'm just going to jump into some of the features right now. So MIUI 4.1 is very fast. Um, it's just like other AOSP ROMs you'd be using. It's buttery smooth and it takes full advantage of this Galaxy S3's hardware. I just want to go over a couple of MIUI features that I really enjoy for those of you that have never used MIUI. First off, you're going to notice that the uh, status bar on MIUI kind of has these built-in toggles that you're going to kind of see in Android 4.2. Um, MIUI has actually had this for a very long time, so it's nice to have these even when we're not on Android 4.2. And of course, it's got the notifications, obviously. So the toggles are that nice built-in feature. Okay, now I want to comment on the radio and how it's been working in this ROM. I know lots of people obviously really rely on the signal and how all that's going with data. And this ROM, like I previously stated, has been rock solid in all aspects, including the radio. Uh, my data has been great. It's um, like all their AOSP ROMs, so wherever you're at with those, that's how it is on here and I've had no problems with that at all. Reception has been great. So basically anything you, you would expect from Sanjaman 10. And it's been working great on here. So this is gonna lead me into my next huge thing about MIUI. I basically have to cover it in this review. And that's because it's the, one of the biggest parts of MIUI and that is the theming of MIUI. So I'm just gonna go into themes, show you all that it's working great. And so you see I have local up right here, and I'm going to go to, I'll just do Suave Blue. This is a pretty popular theme. Okay, so the theme is applied. And you're going to notice right away that the uh, theming and customization of MIUI is quite profound. It's really uncomparable to anything else out there. You can see basically the whole framework has been changed. And that's really what MIUI theming does. We're going to get a whole different uh, framework icons, and that's actually specific to the theme. Let me just go back into themes here, and you'll notice if I select this, um, I can select specific parts of the theme. You see right here, I have everything applied, and this theme really covers all these. So it's basically like a whole customization of your phone, and that's one of the main reasons that my UI is so popular. And I actually really love my UI just for the themes. Like almost everybody else that uses MIUI. So that kind of covers the customization aspect of MIUI. Obviously you can mess around with this for a long time. You can see how much stuff it really changes. And uh, there's obviously ways you can even make your own themes. So MIUI theming is uh, basically one of a kind. And if you've never used MIUI, I definitely recommend you check it out just for this reason. So this is gonna lead me to my conclusion. Uh, this isn't really meant to be an in-depth ROM review. There's already tons of other MIUI ROM reviews out there that go into depth with the ROM. And this is more tailored towards the Verizon Galaxy S3 version of this ROM. Uh, obviously, this is basically the only one for the Verizon Galaxy S3 right now that I know that is being continued to be updated and is fully working. You gotta give props to the developers. They did a great job with this, and obviously it's a continuation off of MIUI, but they did a great job getting everything working for the Verizon Galaxy S3. I really recommend you guys check this out, even if you've never tried MIUI, it's really a must-have. I know many people love MIUI, and if you give it a try, I'm sure you might. So this is kind of going to lead me to the end of all this, and I just want to say, leave any questions you have in the comments below, guys. Uh, 
If you like this video at all, please hit the like button. If you guys like the videos and content we have on our channel and you want to see more of it, please subscribe. Once again, guys, thanks for watching the video. The links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you later.